Hey guys, it's Clary Berry. It is, I'm um, wrapping up week 17 and I'm feeling really, really good. I had a comment after, I think it was my very last video and, um, it kind of woke me up a little bit. I realized that my videos have been pretty boring lately. I have not been doing any of the pictures, any of the videos. And I also been just like complaining about what I've been doing and not really, I guess, looking at the good sides, um, instead of the bad side. I mean, it's so easy to do when you're trying so hard to do something and then you may, you know, make some mistakes and it's easy to just focus on that. But I tell you, like anytime you're trying to do something, especially do something big, you have to focus on the good. You have to focus on what you're doing and what your goals are. You cannot just focus on all the obstacles. I can't sit here and think fat, 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 salt, 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 if that's what I'm wanting to overcome. And I learned this whenever I was in passion parties and we've actually went to um, Brian Byro, um, motivational speaker, and um, you break the board and everything. And basically, you know, the board just teaches you because you don't look at the board. If you're scared of the board, if you're looking at the board, if you're focused on the board when you're trying to break it, a lot of people can't do it. And this has nothing to do, you know, old ladies were doing this, like, you know, it has nothing to do with anything. But whenever you look at the person who's holding the board, you look at their eyes and you think a positive thought, then you're able to break it. So that's like a really good life lesson, I think, for everybody. But, you know, also with me, especially with just making these videos, I mean, I don't want to sit here and think about, oh, you know, I'm doing this wrong, I'm doing this wrong, I'm doing this wrong, because really, like, I have made so many, so many changes. And I remember starting out 2013 and thinking, okay, this is going to be my year. And I did. I got down to the lowest weight that I've ever been to. I, um, you know, my training went up and down, I think, but it was probably still better than ever. And, you know, I had a really great year. Um, despite it being kind of a rocky year emotionally, I was um, up and down in my life. Uh, throughout 2013, but I was able to make some changes and then, you know, turned around the next year and made even more like completely huge changes. So I was jumping from a relatively good spot to, you know, an even better spot. And I should be doing nothing but really celebrating that, giving myself pats on the back. Another thing that, you know, we don't do. We just don't do that. We don't give each other props enough. We don't give ourselves enough. You know, I hear more people say bad and negative and mean, really mean things to themselves than I ever do, you know, hear people say really nice things. And I would really rather live in a world where everybody walked around talking nice to themselves. So <laughs> get on that and be nice to my friends. Okay. So um, anyway, let's get into this week 17. Um, doing amazing. Like I've definitely gotten a hold of a lot more things and probably the main thing that I've been doing when I look back at my pictures is um, rice bowls. That's probably the main difference, you know, because I had already cut, well, I cut most of the hummus out and then I kind of went back to hummus this week, but it's, it's going to be a, it's going to be a short thing and it's kind of a backup plan if I can get away with that. But um, yeah, a lot of rice bowls. I've been doing basically like a Mexican rice bowl and just putting my salsa on it, maybe some sunflower seeds and eating it. And then I've been doing like maybe just a different vegetables and using like a Thai peanut sauce because those are the main days, you know, that I'm doing like Mexican and, and ethnic Thursday um, is when I do it. But I have been sort of opting out of, you know, like some of the pasta meals and some of the heavier cooked meals just because I can get more raw in this way. And um, I think one night I even had just like really a cup full of rice because when you get enough mangoes in there, you're still getting your carbs. And uh, so I'm really, really, really loving the rice bowls. And I put salad in them pretty much every time, having no problems getting my greens. I think I'm like one of the only, you know, raw vegans or mostly raw vegans that doesn't do like green smoothies anymore because I don't know. I just like, I just like vegetables. So <laughs> anyways, um, my exercise has been really good this week. I am going to do probably a separate video on that all together just to kind of let you guys know what I've been up to. I don't want to ramble on forever like I always do, but, um, I think I'm actually going to hit my 10 hours this week. So that'll be the first week that I have actually done that. And it's really awesome. Most of it's been a lot of jumping, um, which is pretty low key. It's very easy on your knees and it's something that you can do for a long time. And Granted, this isn't like a hardcore exercise, you know, it's not like the same as if I would be running for that long. 
it's pretty gentle and I don't even really work up a sweat, but still I'm moving, so I'm counting it. And I've been doing a lot more calisthenics too, like getting some strength training in there as well, not just doing the jumping. So, um, what else? Um, I guess that's about it. I will just go ahead and show you guys some of the different meals that I've been having this week and some of the different things that I've been eating. And I hope to see you around. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you will, please and thank you. And uh, let me know how you guys are doing. Thanks. Okay, so obviously these are some good old cucumbers. I've been eating a lot of those lately. These are my greeny weeny bananas from Costco. Obviously have a lot of ripening to do. This was the base to my tamale pie. I just put together a bunch of veggies and tomato-based stuff and spices. And this is kind of the same thing with beans. Um, but back to the tamale pie. No, I put beans in. This is, this is it when it's more thicker. And so I just put the uh, cornmeal on top and bake. And it is delicious. And this is kind of a picture of like more what it looks like when you're eating it. And I'm doing less of this now that it's getting to be a bit warmer but it's really good throughout the winter. This is my basic salad, salsa, mangoes, sunflower seeds, that's about it. This is my Ezekiel crust pizza. I just get the Ezekiel crust, put a bunch of tomato sauce, veggies on it, and it's good to go in about 10 minutes. This is my freezer. You can see all the bananas in the bottom, and there's two shelves of bananas there. They're pretty much gone now. These are off plan, but they are so freaking amazing, like so fattening, but they're so good. Oh my gosh. This is potatoes with just a little bit of diluted Thai peanut sauce. And I found some new Mr. Spice sauce, which I'm going to buy. This is like a sundae or just some ice cream with kib. There's actually a little piece of chocolate in there too, which is banana and ice cream. And so all you do is take the bananas and blend them up. A lot of people do it in a food processor. My food processor isn't very big, so I tend to just smash it down with a um, spoon or something in my um, in my blender. This is me out of baseball practice, just eating a mono mango meal on the go, <laughs> being silly. And I also have my banana chips or my dehydrated bananas from Costco that I'm eating on the go here. Very, very convenient food. There's a rice bowl with lots of veggies, a little avocado on top. You can see the mangoes and the rice. This is another day, pretty much the same meal. I really don't get too sick of this one. I could probably eat it all the time. This is a Weedy Wednesday. You can see I got my wheat beer and my Ezekiel crust pizza. Mmm, fresh strawberries. That's a big treat. Organic, of course. Been drinking a lot of coconut water. I like it in the mornings as a sort of a step in between, you know, the water and the food. Make sure I get that hydration. This is more of a Thai peanut salsa salad. Uh, excuse me, no salsa, just Thai peanut salad. There are mangoes and tomatoes, of course, but that's my other salad that I like to do. And again, very diluted. There's not a lot of oil, you know, or dressings. It's, it's a very light it's got a little bit of salt in it, but that's why I dilute it. And this is no salsa. I just decided to have some mango salsa rice. So no salad on the side. Just needed some carbs. I like these McDougal instant meals. This is a quinoa one. We've been eating a lot of the noodles and the different soups, but they're kind of high in salt. This is just, again, another on the go. Got to have that water. And I was taking salad. This was a splurge. I didn't realize they were going to give me tofu with my veggies, or I probably would have asked to leave that out. This is more of a homemade rice with the just frozen veggies thrown in at the last minute so that they get cooked. And I put a little leftover brown rice or brown sauce on there. This is hummus that I just made real quick out of butter beans and lime juice. Have not tried this uh, ginger beer yet. I will let you guys know. I don't think it's a real health food item, but there's just a picture of my little homemade hummus on top of some rice cakes with cucumbers. Man, my counter was getting bare this week, but thankfully we got some more door-to-door -door organics produce. This is actually a um, masala, an Indian masala type of a dish. Very, very, very delicious. These are my fries, a little bit burnt. Took them to baseball, double header. It was an awesome treat. Very, very good. And in fact, I had somebody comment on how many carbs they were eating, so it was a good intro to be able to talk to him, and he is very overweight. Um, let's see, what I missed there was dirt pie, dirt cake, 
more bananas, more cucumbers, and the dirt cake, back to the dirt cake, it is just vegan cream cheese and um, coconut milk, actually just the coconut cream part of the of the coconut milk in the can. I just take that off and put it in there with some sugar and then had mint Oreos and put those on top. This is just salsa. What you saw was a picture of hummus and cucumbers. Got my Amazon Prime membership, subscribe and save. Saved 15% on this seven grain milk and also these uh, organic corn pastas and lots of other stuff. Highly recommend that. There's my counter, got a little bit bigger after Door to Door Organics came through on Wednesday. Been eating a lot of banana ice cream. I'm just liking ice cream right now more than smoothies. I'm not really sure why. And lots of mango mono meals. And mono meals are great for your digestion. Hey, so thanks for checking out all the food I've been eating lately. I haven't taken a whole lot of pictures this week because, like I said, I've been doing a lot of the same things, just eating a lot of mangoes, eating a lot of uh, banana ice cream and cucumbers and um, doing the rice bowls. It's pretty much what I've been eating on a daily basis. I haven't been eating any berries this week. It's like I've just, I get burnt out or something. And so, and you know, with the seasons changing, it's maybe that's part of it too. Um, but I've just been, you know, not having very many smoothies, just eating mangoes kind of as I please. And that coconut water, I almost kind of did like coconut water fasting in the morning too. Um, although I'm not fasting, I'm, um, I am, let me, I guess I gotta talk about this before I go too. Um, I wanted to mention, you know, I've been doing okay on my 333 and my 3 squared. I've been doing about three liters, two to three liters of water every day. I sort of run and like forget to count the last half of the day. So, but I think I'm okay. I think I'm getting enough in in the morning and then just going regularly um, in the afternoon. I think I could probably use a little bit more, but I'm still doing pretty well. And um, like I said, as far as my three hours a day, I'm doing really, really well. I might skip a day and do a little bit extra another day, but overall I'm doing really, really well. And as far as the 3,000, um, I'm definitely not hitting 3,000, but I'm, I'm still more around the 2,500. In a couple of days this week, I actually did maybe about 2,000, but I'm not attempting to do this. Um, I think it's just sort of happening with the seasons and getting used to everything. I don't know. So still going to try to be eating more fruit, but it's not a huge deal because I'm not really cheating anymore in the afternoons. The only the worst thing I'm doing is like a little bit of extra salt, you know, and once in a while that's perfectly okay. So really, really happy. I feel like a lot of the extra bloat is going away. Um, I don't know if you could tell or if you can even see here, but, um, Again, I'm not losing pounds, but I definitely feel like I look better. Like my bloat is for sure, like a lot, you know, gone down. So I'm feeling good about that. And, you know, it's getting warmer and warmer here in Kansas City. So I'm ready to, ready to wear some, been wearing some shorts and I'm getting ready for that bikini. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I think that's it for now. I'm going to have some more videos coming at you this weekend because I have a lot to talk about, actually. So take care. Have a great weekend. I will see you guys later.